since you mentioned linoleic acid, and I kind of know, there's so many people out there um, that talk about the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio and how, I, I'll never forget, I, I was submitting a paper for a review on omega-3s, and I, I mentioned the omega-3 to omega-6 index uh, ratio and, you know, how it could be negative, and this was, you know, years ago, and a reviewer just ripped me to shreds. I mean, <laughs> totally um, came down with all this evidence that that was not true. Um, of course, you know, it blew my mind, and I was like, wow, this is, seems oh. to be Thought it convincing. was true. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. But. I wonder if I reviewed that paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know too many people or more. Um, I think I do that. know who the reviewer was, but okay, anyways, no, I, um, I can tell you, I can tell you off camera. Off camera, um, that's fine. But changed my mind, basically. So, you know, this whole plot that the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is so important. Everyone's so concerned mm -hmm. about uh, eating too much omega-6, which, you know, the dietary sources, major dietary sources these days are, are, are vegetable oils, refined right. oils, but, right. you know, getting them through. And then people have become scared about getting them through whole foods, like eating nuts and oh, yeah. flaxseed and gets crazy. healthy food. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this index? Well, <laughs> I, I, I agree. I mean, the, the ratio, I mean, the, the concept, well, we haven't got that much time, um, it makes some sense. It's just it's very non imprecise. Because when you say omega-3, you don't know what you're talking about, ALA, EPA, or DHA. It could be any of them. And, and when you say omega-6, you don't really know. There's seven omega-6 omega fatty acids in the blood. Which ones are you talking about? And so it's, you don't know what this ratio, it's not, you can't act upon it because you don't know what you're acting upon. The other problem is you can have a, a high omega-3 intake and a high omega-6 intake or low omega-6 and a low omega-3 and have the same ratio. So that doesn't help because the problem is that you can fix a bad ratio by taking more omega-3 and that's the right way to do it. But you cannot fix it and improve your health by leaving your omega-3 intake alone and just lowering your omega-6, which that ratio tends for people tend to do that. They think, well, that's I gotta fix it. Well, the way to fix it, there's only one way to fix it. It's a good way to fix it, it's to eat more EPA and DHA. That's fine. If you want to play that ratio game and fix it that way, okay. But don't take it any further than that. Hundred percent agree with you. That's my my thoughts, yeah. is that really it's it's, it's, it's the low omega-3 intake that's, that's the, problem, the problem. And that right. you need to that's increase that omega-3 intake. And that's pretty much what the reviewer was arguing for um, with a little bit of, uh, well, you know, omega-6 is good. It's part of the cell membrane. And well, you yeah, need linoleic acid. Some of that you too. Want, you know, so there's I mean, some of that. But. I mean, we published two papers with this consortium of the 17 or 20 cohorts. We've had several other papers, all looking at fatty acids and some outcome. And one of them looked at linoleic acid levels in the blood. And, car and cardiovascular outcomes, and found that the higher the linoleic acid, the lower the risk for cardiovascular disease. And another paper looked at linoleic acid levels and risk for developing diabetes. Higher omega-3, excuse me, higher omega-6 linoleic, lower risk for developing diabetes. So when you, see, when you look at that kind of data, when you're talking about a biomarker, it's not a dietary intake questionnaire thing that everybody questions. You're looking at a biomarker of omega-6 intake, linoleic acid, you can't make it. And higher levels are associated with lower cardiovascular and diabetic risk. It's hard to say they're bad. Right. I mean, you could turn that around and say lowering your levels of linoleic is gonna increase your risk for atherosclerosis and... I think those, so. these were a couple of the studies that the reviewer used um, as an argument against, you know, like yeah. whether or not. I mean, so, um, people love black hats and white hats though. Right. And. It just feels good to have a, I, I, I hate this one, I love this one. You can't love both of them somehow or another. It's just, somehow, I like omega-6 and omega-3. And that's people, we can't do that. You gotta hate one of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.